Wanda International Airport Jaw Indonesian Bandar Yadara International Wanda IATA Sub ICAO WAR is an international airport located in Sadati Sidoarjo It is now the fifth largest airport in Indonesia after Soekarno Hatta Kertajati Kuala Namu and Nagura Rai and third busiest airport in Indonesia this airport is located approximately 12 kilometers 8 miles from Surabaya and serves the Gerbangkerto Sisila, the metropolitan area of Surabaya plus extended urban area. Wanda International Airport is operated by PT Angkasa Pura I. The airport takes its name after Juanda Kartawajaja, the last Prime Minister of Indonesia who had suggested development of this airport. In 2013, the airport serves about 400 aircraft per day. Currently, Wanda International Airport is the hub of CityLink, Garuda Indonesia, Indonesia AirAsia X, Lion Air, and Sriwijaya Air along with Soekarno Hatta International Airport. Wanda International Airport will become one of the main airports in Indonesia for ASEAN Open Skies. In 2014, Wanda International Airport becomes the world's 10th best in airport service quality by Airport Council International among 79 airports with passengers' capacity between 5 to 15 million a year. In Q1 2015, the airport becomes the world's 7th best in airport service quality by ACI. History Opened in 1964 as a naval air base of Indonesia. It replaces the previous airport in Marokrambangan, near Tanjung Perak Harbour. It was originally used as home base for Indonesian Navy's fleet of Ilyushin Il-28 and Ferry Gannet. In its development it was also used for civil aviation and PT Angkasa Pura I handled the management and operation since January 1985. On December 24, 1990 Wanda Airport was gained international airport status after the opening of the international terminal. Previously, since December 1987, the airport has served flights to Singapore, Hong Kong, Taipei, and Manila. <laughs> development of Airport City On February 25, 2015, Indonesia President Joko Widodo agreed to develop Wanda Airport City which consists such as an additional two runways to become a triple runway airport, and an integrated connection between Gubing Railway Station with the airport via an elevated railway. About 6,000 hectares of land have been prepared for the expansion of the airport, wherein 1,500 hectares will be used to construct two additional runways, and Wanda Airport's Terminal 3, while the remaining area will be used to construct the airport city and the ultimate terminal building. The new area for Wanda Airport is estimated to be 1,700 hectares and will be located in the northern part of the airport. Construction of two runways by will require the reclamation of about 4 km stretch of land along Java's northern coastline. The land acquisition is expected to be completed by 2018. Development consists of three phases. First phase is the confirmation of the master plan, land acquisition, reclamation for runway 2 and construction of runway 2. Second phase is the development of Terminal 1, reclamation for Runway 3, construction of Runway 3, and accessibility from toll roads and terminal. Third phase will be building an ultimate terminal and airport city supporting infrastructure. <laughs> Terminals and runway At present, Wanda International Airport has two terminals. A new three-story terminal building was opened in October 2006, which is now Terminal 1. The building has a capacity of 8 million passengers per year and features a 51,500 square meter (554,000 square feet) domestic passenger terminal, a 20,200 square meter (217,000 square feet) international terminal, and 11 aerobridges. The terminal used a mix of hi-hat roofs from Ruma Adat Sumba as well as Java Malay architecture themes. Terminal 1 is used for all domestic flights, except Garuda Indonesia and Indonesia AirAsia flights. Terminal 2 was built by demolishing the old terminal building, which was opened on February 14, 2014. The architecture of T2 is modern with curved features when compared to Terminal 1. Terminal 2 has an area of 49,500 square meters and eight aerobridges, with a capacity to accommodate 6 million passengers per year. 
Terminal 2 is used for all international flights, Garuda Indonesia, and Indonesia AirAsia domestic and international flights. The airport has separate 5,300 square meter (57,000 square feet) administration building, including a 15-story control tower and a two-story cargo building with domestic and international cargo sections, capable of handling 120,000 tons (120,000 long tons, 130,000 short tons) of cargo a year. The apron with an area of 148,000 square meters, 1,590,000 square feet, can handle 18 aircraft simultaneously, including two wide body, 11 medium and 5 small aircraft. The airport has a single runway of 3,000 by 55 meters, 9,843 feet times 180 feet. There are two 3,000 by 30 meter, 9,843 feet times 98 feet, parallel taxiways, including five exit taxiways, 30 meters wide, and four connecting taxiways, also 30 meters. The airport has a parking area of 28,900 square meters parking area that can accommodate more than 3,000 vehicles. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations. Topic Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Statistics In 2010, the airport handled 11 million passengers, although the capacity was 6 million passengers and the air traffic controller radar system is only able to track 21 aircraft per hour, but at peak hour handled 40 to 45 aircraft landing and taking off. The following are statistics for the airport from 1999 to 2013. In addition to this, it is noted that, in 2006, the domestic sector between Surabaya and Jakarta is the fourth busiest air route in Asia with over 750 weekly flights. Source, PT, Persero, and Casa Pura 1, in Indonesian. Topic. Ground transport Wanda Airport is connected to Waru Wanda Toll Road to Surabaya, which is about 15 km from the airport. Domri buses are provided by the local government to deliver passengers to Surabaya. Fixed tariff taxis are available to various destinations in Surabaya and surrounding areas including Malang, Blitter, Jember, Tulungagung. Taxi tickets can be purchased at the counter located at the airport exit. A monorail will be built and integrated along with the three and four terminals. The length of the rail is about 20 km. The service will have 29 stops that distance between halts 1.5 km to 2 km. Accidents and incidents On March 4, 2006, Lion Air Flight 8987, a McDonnell Douglas MD-82 from Nagura Rai International Airport of Denpasar, crashed after landing at Wanda International Airport. Reverse thrust was used during landing, although the left thrust reverse was stated to be out of service. This caused the aircraft to veer to the right and skid off the runway, coming to rest about 7,000 feet 2, meters from the approach end of the runway. There were no fatalities, but the aircraft was badly damaged. On February 21, 2007 Flight 172, an Atom Air Boeing 737-300 aircraft flying from Jakarta to Surabaya with registration PKKKV C. N27284, had a hard landing at Wanda International Airport, resulting in structural failure of the aircraft. On April 13, 2010, Cathay Pacific Flight 780, an Airbus A330-300 from Wanda International Airport to Hong Kong landed safely after both engines failed due to contaminated fuel, which was uploaded at Surabaya. 
On February 1, 2014, Lion Air Flight 361, a Boeing 737-900ER registration PKLFH, from Balakpapan Sultan Aji Muhammad Suleiman Airport to Wanda International Airport in Surabaya, with 222 passengers and crew on board, landed hard and bounced four times on the runway, causing a tail strike and substantial damage to the plane. There were no fatalities, but two passengers were seriously injured and three others had minor injuries equals equals gallery